Hello, my name is Chunky Lotus. Welcome to my 2022 recap video. If this is the very first video that you see about me, it's a great way to get to know me. I am going to be going over very briefly about everything that I did in my eight months and two weeks as a VTuber content creator here on YouTube, Twitch, and other social medias. What I encountered, what I discovered, what I did, and, and also what great memories I have shared with my community and the chunky eggs that are always amazing, as well as finalizing the video by explaining what are my plans, wishes, and hopes for 2023. Without any further ado, let's begin with the video. And so it has begun, the tale of Chunky Lotus, how everything has started. Well, you see, before I had this form, I was a shapeless cloud that was just floating around space. Then I happened to see my VTuber mom, Yoshino Art, and approach her for the possibility of giving me a body that I can have for myself. And she agreed. So then I took the form of this chunky egg while I was being rigged and drawn in the factory, quote unquote, factory, um, you know, art. When I finally had my body, I became this, and I was very happy. I have never felt happier when I realized the amazingness of this. So I took it to Twitch, and we got affiliate on the first week. It was a great thing, and you know, a lot of people, not a lot of people, well, you know, at the time, three, seven, ten average viewers felt like a lot. And I greatly appreciate those that have their Twitch founder badges, uh, the ones that helped me at the beginning, you know, you guys are amazing, you know who you are <laughs> if you're watching this, I love you. Mm -hmm. I met a lot of friends, awesome friends along the way, and people as well, um, however, on July 20, my PC cooling system died, and I was unable to stream for a week. It was at this moment that I felt pain. I felt highly anxious to be apart from my community. I realized how important they are to me and how empty it feels without them. It was not the pleasant, the most pleasant experience, I tell you that. I... I uh, I know I might be a little bit, uh, I might be sounding slightly parasocial here, but yeah, I get attached to people, okay? <laughs> I do. I do value you guys a lot. Anyways, moving on. As I keep growing, my community did as well. And in August 9, we achieved 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Isn't that nice? I, Although I was never really working hard on YouTube, um... Until, until the next day, August 10, I got suspended by Twitch. Tragedy striked. It was uh, an interesting day and I got suspended for three days. Yes, I even made a video about it, talking about these things. How I got suspended because I probably was displaying too much of a highly sexual, suggestive conduct. And I can recall, maybe, yes, it was the case. And I learned from my mistakes, but it was, an, uh, yet again, another interesting wake-up call in which I felt, yet again, very sad to be forced to be away from my community. Mm, 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 very, very sad moments, but you know, not everything in life needs to be happiness and rainbows. But some, sometimes you have these moments and you learn from them. They're also great learning experiences. After the tragedy of getting suspended on Twitch for three days, I learned my lesson and I toned down a lot of things uh, that may have been interpreted as highly sexual conduct. You know, you learn from your mistakes. It, it doesn't kill you, it makes you better. Then I started producing more content elsewhere. And as such, on September the 23, I achieved 10K followers on Twitter based on probably, uh, you know, my creativity and say so Nah. Whatever, I, it's probably because of the tides and the booba. But yes, it's it's fine. On October 3rd, we finally reached 1k chunky eggs on my Discord server. That was a great moment for me because, you know, I felt like my community was getting together. And that, speaking about that, my Discord server is the wholesome, a very wholesome place, okay? It's very safe, it's very comfy, it's for people that like to hang around, watch movies daily, anime, play games, get on boys, hang around. Um, 
and I have been trying my best to improve the way I moderate things because you know no one no one knows how to do stuff until you try there have been ups and downs along the way no drama however this is just my own perception um, I should probably be a little bit more lenient and this is part of me of you getting to know me and my personality I have been bullied in life all right I'm a trans girl myself and when I was in the school I did not have the best time um, so every time someone approaches me and try to create trouble, or I feel like they're trying to create trouble, I tend to be a little bit too quick on my judgment and remove them. However, as time has been going by, and as I have been learning how to be a better content creator and community management and social media management, I am being more flexible and I'm understanding where people are coming from and I am trying to improve. So that's interesting, a little bit of retrospective as well. It's kind of curious, right? Um, but without that, with, without uh, much of say, <laughs> going much into details, on October the 22, something special happened. But something, you know, you can, some people can call it a silly thing, but for me it was very special. One of the PTubers that I look up to, Val the Whale, follow me on Twitter. And I was... Wow, I was wow, you know, I was like, what the hell is going on? What am I doing? Uh, why is this so nice? Uh, because she's an idol for me. I really look up to Val. It was just feels so nice to get some recognition, I guess. Uh, although it's just a simple click, you know, a follow. But it still means a lot. It still means a lot to me. I value it so much. <laughs> on October the 26th, we got 10,000 followers on Instagram. And I decided to start working on Instagram heavily as well, because it's a great social media. On November the 4th, 100k on TikTok. And by this time, I have already been doing quite the amount of activities on Discord server. We created Minecraft server months ago. We were hanging around on it weekly. We were having activities. You know, I love engaging with every single chunky egg as much as I have the time and availability to do so. So this was great for me. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. We have shared so many precious times. We have been having so many great moments through 2022 that I am convinced that 2023 is going to be a marvelous time, uh, despite life always having ups and downs. In retrospective, and fast forward to today, these are the numbers that I have been able to achieve and I am very proud, not because of the number per se, but I am very proud because this community is something that I never could have been able to dream the way they all my chunky eggs are. All of you are so wholesome, so respectful, so loving, so caring. And, you know, although, like I said before, life has ups and downs, we are here for each other and we are here to lift each other up or just hug each other or celebrate together when there is a victory for one of the community members or myself. Um, this is, up until now, everything that I have been doing. I, am, I like to be a wholesome streamer, I like caring for people and listening and being very empathic. At least that's what I try. That's my goal, you know? Sure, I made mistakes. No one is perfect. No one can ever be perfect. But at least I try to improve each week or each month. Now, uh, in this section, in the next section and the last section of the video, I'm gonna be talking, <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about, <laughs> I ran out of air. I'm gonna be talking about my dreams and my hopes for 2023. 2023 is gonna be an interesting year. I still have not debuted, I still have not, uh, I still don't have any merch. I still don't have many things that a content creator should have, but that's okay. I'm going at my own pace and no one can rush me. This is not a competition. It's not a race. I am doing this because I love it and I love my community. For 2023, my plans and dreams and hopes are, the well, the biggest ones are a 3D model. Yes, you heard that right. A 3D model so I can see it on people's faces. Um, that is just the initial joke, but then I realize, well, why not? Um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting a 3D model with full body tracking. That's gonna be fantastic. 2023 definitely needs to be the year in which I debut and I release merch. I just need to organize the dates so I can have everything, you know, in 
order without really stressing much, but everything will be done. And I guarantee and I promise you, everything will be doing great.